The opening ceremony of the 53rd World Military Shooting Championship 2021 was held at Lahore under the support of CISM, commonly known as the International Military Sports Council. Corps Commander Lahore, Lieutenant General Muhammad Abdul Aziz was the chief guest of the occasion, said an inter-service public relation media release. The CISM International Shooting Championship was being organized at Lahore Garrison Shooting Gallery of Pakistan Army. However, this was the second time that Pakistan was holding this international military championship. Over 50 participants, including 41 inter- international shooters from Russia, France, Sri Lanka, Palestine, Kenya are participating in the event with the motto Friendship Through Sports. Moreover, the officials from Guinea, Iran and Nepal were also present. Representatives of CISM, a large number of dignitaries, diplomats and spectators witnessed the colorful and impressive opening ceremony. The contest would continue until October 9, 2021 at Lahore Garrison Shooting Gallery, featuring various shotgun shooting events including trap and skeet shooting for both men and women. Prime Minister Imran Khan has emphasized the instant significance of economic engagement with Afghanistan to avoid an economic meltdown. PM Imran Khan, during a telephonic conversation with Tajikistan's President Imamoli Rahman, highlighted the significant role of the global community in providing essential humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan to ease the misery of the common people. Prime Minister Imran Khan shared with President Rahman Pakistan's contribution and determination for maintainable peace and constancy in Afghanistan. He emphasized the importance of national settlement in this context. The two leaders decided to stay in close contact with a view to further managing their determinations in the maintenance of peace and stability in Afghanistan. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists exposed Pandora Papers, major international research into the financial secrets held by high-profile individuals around the world on Sunday. The name included in the leaks are Finance Minister Shaukat Tareen, Senator Faisal Wadwa, PMLQ leader Chaudhary Munis Ilahi, Ishaq Dars, son, PPP's Sharjil Memon, the family of Minister for Industries and Production Khusro Bakhtiar, PTI leader Abdul Aleem Khan, among 700 others, among these with alleged links to offshore companies. According to the reports, more than 700 Pakistanis have also been named in the leaks. From Pakistan, investigative journalists Umar Chima and Fakhar Durrani were part of the research and spoke about the findings of the media. The consortium released a report on the Pandora Papers titled Prime Minister Imran Khan Promised New Pakistan, but members of his inner circle secretly moved millions offshore. Pakistan Pavilion successfully hosted over 8,000 visitors on the very first day at Expo 2020 Dubai and the count is still on. The principal curator of the Pakistan Pavilion at the Dubai Expo described the facility as a game changer for the country shortly before the much-awaited global trade show opened with a 90-minute glittering ceremony last Thursday. Rulers of the United Arab Emirates along with a large number of foreign dignitaries from across the world were present at the start study event that featured leading German and Golden Globe Award winners. Over 910 cast members representing 64 nations participated in the ceremony. The highly publicized global trade show has brought together representatives of 190 nations who will display their culture, human resource and investment opportunities for the next six months to enhance their country's trade and commerce with the rest of the world. Pakistan too is set to shine on the global stage to attract a greater number of tourists along with international investment. Jam Kamal has stepped down as the president of Balochistan Awami Party, but he is still holding the position for chief minister. He said that seat position and status do not have any importance for me. I have worked for BAP from the first day and will continue to do so. Kamal further tweeted to clear the speculation spread by the opponents about resigning from the CM position. The dengue cases are constantly increasing in the province of KPK. Two hospitals in KPK, Khyber Teaching Hospital and Hayatabad Medical Complex have reported an upsurge in dengue patients. According to the reports, in the past 24 hours, 371 dengue cases have been reported, out of which 8 patients were admitted in hospital. The staff stated that in the past 24 hours, Cyber Teaching Hospital has tested 263 patients positive, whereas Hayatabad Medical Complex informed 108 patients were tested positive for dengue. Furthermore, 463 patients are admitted in different hospitals in the country. Due to the upsurge in dengue cases, hospitals in the federal capital have formed special dengue wards. As the winter months near, Beekeepers of occupied Kashmir like Abid Hussain are preparing for an annual migration southwards in the search of warmer climate, more honey and bigger payout. Hussain wears protective gear on his arm and face as he readies to send his convoy of bees hundreds of kilometers from the Himalayan region into the Indian desert state of Rajasthan. Everything comes to an halt in Kashmir in winter, including nature, says Hussain, who takes his colony 750 kilometers to vast mustard fields around Sri Ganganagar on the edge of Rajasthan's third desert. Dozens
thousands of his fellow beekeepers make the same annual journey, traveling across twisting mountains, highways, and northern Indian plains to reach warmer provinces. Central Punjab defeated Southern Punjab by seven wickets in the 18th match of the National T20 Cup in Rawalpindi Stadium. Fahim Ashraf was the man of the match as he took three wickets for the team. Earlier, Central Punjab won the toss and elected to field first. Azam Khan was the top scorer of the Southern Punjab as he scored 45 runs of 41 balls. He smashed three boundaries and three sixes. Agha Salman was the second top scorer of Southern Punjab as he scored 40 runs of 29 balls. He smashed five boundaries. Skipper Babar Azam was top scorer of the Central Punjab as he scored 59 runs of 49 balls. He smashed five boundaries and two sixes. Kamra Nakmal was the second top scorer in Central Punjab as he scored 28 runs of 26 balls. He smashed three boundaries. Pakistani cricketer Saud Shakil will lead the Pakistani team for the tour of Sri Lanka which will comprise of two test and three ODI matches in Kandy and Colombo from 28th October to 14th November. Chief Selector Mohammad Wasim said, The objective and purpose of such tour is to reward, encourage, motivate and prepare high-performing cricketers for further challenges, while also developing and strengthening our bench strength. The average age of this squad is under 22 and includes players who have either been part of the national squads or are knocking at the doors of international cricket. The Sri Lanka tour will help these talented cricketers to further hone and polish their skills so that they are ready to perform at international level. Euro to Pakistani rupee today on 4th October 2021 is 197.65 rupees. This is the interbank closing exchange rate of the Euro to Pakistani rupee which is provided by the State Bank of Pakistan every day. Wabda Chairman Lieutenant General Muzammil Hussain retired visited the, the Amir Bhasha Dam to review the construction work on the project being constructed on the River Indus. Referring to the benefits of the, the Amir Bhasha Dam, he said, the project will change the destiny of the nation by stabilizing economy and lessening poverty. More than 16,500 employment opportunities will be created during the construction of the project in a phased manner. The people residing in the project area are being given priority for the jobs, as around 3,200 locals had already been employed at the project by Wapta. The Amir Bhasha Dam will have a gross water storage capacity of 8.1 million acre feet to irrigate 1.23 million acres of land with an installed power generation capacity of 4,000 500 megawatt. The project will provide more than 18 billion units per annum to the national grid. Popular Turkish actress Esra Bilgic has treated her fans with a stunning selfie. The star shared her stunning post with over 4,50,000 likes on the photo shared on her Instagram handle. Every post of Esra Bilgic, aka Halime Sultan, now gets thousands of likes and comments within minutes. Esra Bilgic shared a no makeup look, keeping her selfie game on point. She rose to international recognition with her stellar performance in the popular historical TV series. The actress has received praise from all over the world as Halime Sultan. PTI chief Khuram Sher Zaman said that he had conveyed a message of Prime Minister to the family of Umar Sharif that the legendary comedian would be buried with state honors. He said that Umar Sharif had played a key role in the fundraising of Shokat Khana Memorial Hospital, besides also serving the nation globally. It should be noted that legendary comedian Umar Sharif will be laid to rest at the graveyard of Saint Sayyid Abdullah Shah Ghazi in Karachi as per his wish. Sindh Minister for Information Sayyid Ghani said on Saturday. Umar Sharif died in Germany at the age of 66 after a prolonged illness on Saturday. He was being shifted to the United States through an air ambulance along with his wife. A Turkish man was reported missing after being intoxicated and he set out to find himself together with the search team. Behan Mutlu, 50 of Inegol, Turkey, said he went for a construction project when he and his friends decided to take drugs. Mutlu said he returned to his friend's villa to sleep at about 2 a.m. but his friends thought he might have wandered into the woods nearby drunk and reported his disappearance to police. Behan said he encountered a search party the next morning who said they were looking for a missing person. Mutlu said he joined the search and did not realize he was the missing person they were looking for. He found out when the search party staff started calling his name. Bowl Briefs ki video sabse pehle dekhne ke liye. Bowl Briefs ke channel ko subscribe kare aur bell icon per click karna na bhoolein.